Hey there, Planet Poke people, it's me, Diogen Z, and it's time to play Pokemon Conquest. In the last episode, Nobunaga's foolish army thought they could take back some of their territories we already took from them. So in this episode, we're gonna bring back the battle to their territory, and just give them a reminder as to why that's not such a good idea, not a great tactic for their army to do, because honestly, it just pisses me off more and pissing me off is not a good plan. At least, not if you want to win. So, we will today go into the kingdom of Viperia and see what we can snag. This is the poison place, people. So bring your psychic types. Hey, dear Gen Z. You're the one who's trying to fight Nobunaga, right? You naughty child. Naughty? We're trying to save Ronse! Stop being so silly! If you don't learn to get along with people, I'm going to have to punish you! Mm, that gold book, that looks grimacing. Isn't that right, Hideyashi? Hideyashi? Sure thing, Nene! Y you're Hideyashi from Ignis! But you look so different! Surely you haven't transformed! Long time no see, Dio Gen Z! A whole lot has changed since I decided to let you have my castle in Ignis. As you can see, Nene here is the one who has to put with, up with me now. And I'll tell you something else. That's gonna be different this time. I'm gonna beat you! Wow, what an unlikely duo of Nene and Hideyashi. <laughs> I like how he acts as though he gave us his castle, as though that was his gesture of kindness. Sure thing, Hideyashi, sure thing. I wonder if Nene is so generous. We'll just have to see. This is a pretty fun map to play around with, and once you know its tricks and secrets, its secret ninja floorboards that you can slip through to get to other areas of the map, You'll have no trouble beating Nene. This isn't your first time on the battlefield, is it, you, Gen Z? Well, Viperia is full of ninjas. You'll be amazed when you see what they can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I won't be amazed because we're gonna pawn. Also, another great type to bring along would be ground types. I didn't think to say that right off the bat as we entered Viperia. But hopefully you watch the whole entire video before playing this level out on your own. This way you get the maximum tips and stats from my knowledge, my knowledge of this game. But the reason I was hesitant to say ground types in the beginning was because, well, as you saw, Nene's best linked Pokemon is Golbat. There's also a trainer that wields a Zubat, so that's already two members of her team that are not going to be affected by ground types. But what a ground type is good for, is for sitting on a banner. They're gonna say, stay ship and firm. If anybody listens to the Plastic Beach Gorillas album, they'll know what I'm talking about. But they will stay firm and stand on that banner strong with their earthquake. I do believe that all these types that we're seeing here, all these Pokemon in this battle, need to be in front of your Pokemon in order to damage it, which is good, because Rhyhorn's attack pattern is that of a D-pad, so anything right next to it will be damaged, but not diagonally across from it. That's where they can evade your moves. But I'm bringing the Hydro Power Hydro Pump into this room. Nene's army will immediately go for the room that is in front of them, obviously, because it's the quickest access flag. But if you want to get access into where Nene's army started out from, take this panel that Flareon just sat on there, and you'll end up behind her army. That's pretty important if you've got a long-range projectile hitter that can pop out from the floorboard, then, without getting too close to the enemy, attack them on their way out to the banner because it's very unlikely that the enemy AI will reroute its plan if that banner in this main room here is not claimed. Their main goal, their main programming sets them all out 
to rush, make a mad dash for that banner. Then once that's done, maybe they might turn around. Let's see if Hideyashi gets wise to my Flareon behind him. It's not going to do a ton of damage even if Hideyashi decides to turn around. But something else to be vigilant about is not just the floor panels that you can transport yourself through, but the big puddles of poison that you see on the ground too. It's fine for poison types to stand or hover above them, or even walk through them without any damage. See, any Pokemon can walk through them, but once you wait a square on one of the poison pieces, that's where you run into trouble. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Phew, if it missed. That's where you run into trouble, and that's where your status ailments start to come from, and how your team gets quickly whittled down. If you could stay out of the poison puddles, you'll be good. Another grand reason to have a long-ranged hitter like my Vaporeon here. What a beast this evolution is, because with that one attack, it can reach the entire room. The entire room straight ahead has been swelled by Hydro Pump. Now, we can't let this Ekans get away so easily by trying to run away in the floorboards. That floor panel that Curlius sits by now, that will transport you back into the room that we originally started at. And likewise, if you take the reciprocating panel, it will bring you into that room, which is uh, actually parallel to that panel, so it's pretty easy to tell where they're from. Now, so far, I guess we've only seen two of the banners, because most of the action has been going on in these main four rooms on the right bottom side of this kingdom. But there is still another banner to go for. Just like my Rhyhorn, Arbok will not remove itself from that banner. So we're going to have to be the ones to go get the banner ourselves. Ah, and here we've just run into the problem that I was worried about. But even with Rhyhorn's inability to attack flying type Pokemon, it still has a great amount of hit points. So it's going to take a while to remove that thing from the banner. Plus, you also have to keep in mind the nice effect added bonus that once your teammates are on a banner and they have claimed it for at least a turn, they start to regain health points. So even though they may whittle us down ever so slightly, it won't be that big of a deal. Alright, I don't want to sit in the poison. Let me go... You know what? I didn't realize how far that effect would bring us. Let's just attack with Flareon, since Oichi's already there. Sometimes you need an immediate rechanging of strategy where it's best suited. And in that case, when we can claim the barrier... Barrier? <laughs> when we can claim the banner quicker, then we'll be able to form a barrier and keep out the rest of Nobunaga's army. Show them what it means to take on Diogen Z's territory. It means doom for them! So I'm pretty sure we've got this one wrapped up. All you have to do is claim the banners first. I was mistaken one episode when I was saying that you not only have to take all the banners but defeat the army. You only have to claim the banners and once you do that, the kingdom is yours. So, I'm thinking maybe one or two more attacks on Arbok, and that'll do the trick. At this point, you really should have Oichi's main Pokemon evolved. If you're still trying to evolve Oichi's Pokemon, whether it's Jigglypuff or maybe you switched out to an evolution like me, uh, you're going to have a difficult time taking on this kingdom. And I'm surprised that Arbok hasn't attacked us yet. It, oh, you know why? Because it's got Poison Tail. And in order to do that move, you need to be standing one block away. So let's end this battle now. Saigo Cut! Your stance was a valiant one, sir, but unfortunately, your super effective nature towards my psychic moves could not be retaliated against. So a quick match, guys. But just believe you me, if you don't bring psychic Pokemon, you will have a hard time. So 
Bring along Ken Shin. He's your best ally, but also bring along some other Elusio Wilds. Sorry, everyone. Looks like I couldn't protect Viperia. I couldn't repay Lord Nobunaga. Even though he let us keep looking after our kingdom after we'd lost to him. I guess he's going to be pretty mad now. We've gotta go back to him though, Nay Nay. Lord Nobunaga isn't someone you turn your back on. He's the most powerful warlord of all! Lord Nobunaga is the only one who can help me fulfill my dream. Yes, I guess you're right. And Dio Gen Z, I guess you're not that naughty after all. Kind of weird that you changed your mind once we took her kingdom, but alright. Yes, we will take good care of Viperia. Thank you very much, Lee. So that does it, guys. We have claimed another kingdom in the name of Dio Gen Z. In the name of Ronsei, in the name of Righteousness, I will see you next time.